Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Pirro. Today we're gonna do a polar bear um, on ice skates. This is kind of a seasonal picture. You can choose to make it for the winter season or a holiday season of your choice. No problem, just depends on how you draw and color the, the scarf and the hat. Okay, so let's gather our supplies. We're gonna need a Sharpie marker, some crayons to color the sky in the background, and a few markers to color just the hat and the scarf. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna move this aside here, get my white paper underneath. All right, so we're gonna start our, our bear's head over to the side. I like to put um, about three fingers here by the edge and I'm gonna put a little dot right there. That's my target for where my nose is going to be. And then we're gonna draw a small nose like this and color it in. Okay, under the nose, we'll make a short line and then a curved line up and then a little mark at the corners of the nose. Okay, this line is going to be like the bear's muzzle. So draw a little shape around that, kind of an oval. And then we're gonna do two closed eyes. So just a little curve mark for the closed eye a little top for the head, and two little tiny cute ears. Okay, every time I draw the bear's head, it comes out a little differently. So if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, that's not a problem, don't worry about it. So here I've done two curved lines for the sides of the head. We're gonna leave the neck area open right now. Okay, underneath our bear, we're going to go down and up for the belly and then we're gonna stop. I want the leg to go straight down here. This is gonna be one of the skating legs that touches the ice. Okay, add a foot and a skate blade underneath. So I do two marks on each end, then we'll do a straight line. We'll bring this out in front of the toe and curve it up and then back again. Remember to pause the video whenever you need to catch up. Okay, I'm gonna cut, uh, color these uh, black, but really you could have fun with this and color them any color you want. Um, typically, I think figure skates are either white or black, depending on uh, boy or girl, um, and then sometimes they are other colors. And so you could change that up if you want to. All right, we're gonna put this little scarf around the neck. So going back under the head here, I wanna make a scarf. So a slightly curved line here, and then another second line. We're going to connect the ends, and then I'm going to imagine this scarf waving around, blowing in the wind, because he's moving along the ice. So I need two wavy lines side by side close the end and put some fringe hanging off. Now I'm gonna go back later and put a pattern on that when I color, but I don't need to do that right now. Okay, up here we're gonna draw a hat. Um, you can draw whatever type of hat you want. I'm gonna do a little stocking hat, two curved lines on the end, a curved line above the head for the folded part of the hat, a soft triangle, and I like to do a little pom-pom shape with some little fuzz marks on it. And again, I will go back later and do some patterning on that. And then we need to draw this um, leg that's straight, uh, straight back. So it's kind of tilted up a little bit, slightly on a diagonal. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna make a line that goes back and up just a bit. And then we're going to bring that around for the foot. And a line here to complete the leg. And then we're gonna do a little round area kind of for the, the butt. Okay, so it's gonna come in a little bit past here and be slightly curved. Close this off, color it in. Now don't worry if this looks a little funny. Um, once we get the whole thing done, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. It's best to keep going on a project, even if you don't like one of the lines that you made. Keep going, see if you can um, adjust something as you're drawing, and you might surprise yourself. So you never get better if you don't practice. 
And remember that these drawings are practice. So when you want to draw all by yourself and you don't need a guided video, you will have some experience and you will kind of be able to figure it out when you're doing your own picture. Okay, we're gonna do an arm along the side of the body and a few little marks to show the different parts of his fingers. And then the second arm on the back here, we're just showing a part of it, bring it in and touch the head. So this is the arm that's part way on the back. If you like, you could do a little mark right here for a little texture change on his tummy. We're going to draw a wavy line to show where the ice is and maybe some little shine marks. Okay, this just gives the impression that there's a little bit of um, slipperiness and smoothness happening on here. Okay, last but not least, some snowflakes. Think about how you might put snowflakes in your picture. You can do simple snowflakes like I just made with my little circles. You could do little X's, or you could even become a little bit more detailed with your snowflakes and add some tiny little markings at the ends and some shapes to make them very special and unique. Okay, I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today. I'm going to draw, put my name at the bottom here and 2020, okay? And then we're going to get out our markers. I did marker on the hat and the scarf. I used crayons for my background because I wanted a softer looking background. So crayons or colored pencils might be a good choice um, to use on your background rather than markers to give that a softer look, okay? So that the hat and the scarf are gonna be the most bold part of your picture and the background is gonna be a little softer. All right, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed drawing our polar bear with ice skates. Bye-bye.